गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द चैप्टर फोर एंड नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर फोर इज द हीट फ्लो एंड टेम्परेचर रीजन फोर हीट फ्लो एंड टेम्परेचर हीट फ्लो एंड टेम्परेचर heat flow and temperature heat flow and temperature so question is arises here what is the heat energy first question is the what is heat energy what is heat energy what is heat energy take an ice cube take an ice cube and hold it in your hand and hold it in your hand for a minute what do you feel it feels very cold it feels very cold when you will take ice cubes on your hand for a minute then you will feel very cold it is very cold and now take some warm water and dip your finger in it what do you feel it feels warm and try the same thing with boiling water you find that you are unable to hold your finger in the boiling water and for a half a second you cannot hold your finger in the boiling water you say that water is boiling hot what you will say you will say that water is boiling hot so you cannot hold your finger but you can take ice cubes on your um, hand and you can dip your finger in the warm water but you cannot hold your finger in the boiling hot water so be use words like very cold lukewarm warm hot boiling hot in everyday life depending upon the situation depending upon their situation and how do we use an appropriate word how you will use appropriate word we use our sense and touch and estimate the degree of hotness or coldness that is we estimate the temperature of a body so how you will know that by the temperature of the body you will say that what is the temperature of the body exactly however if you think about the above examples carefully we will conclude that an object appear cold only if heat from our body flows into it for example tap water will generally feel cold because the heat from our body flows into it and however ice feels very cold because the heat flows from our body at a rapid speed and conversely a sample of water appears warm because the heat energy from it flows into our body and however a sample of boiling hot water is too hot and because the heat energy flows into our body at a rapid speed thus we can say that it is flow of heat energy it is so we can say that it is uh, flow of heat energy into our body which makes us feel hot or warm conversely if the heat energy flows out of our body we feel cold and furthermore if the heat energy flows out of our body very rapidly the sensation is very cold what we will say we will say sensation is very cold intense cold etc uh, et similarly if the heat energy flows into our body very rapidly the sensation is very hot what is the sensation sensation is very hot and burning hot etc let us try to find heat energy in this we will discuss about what is heat energy so it can be defined as an invisible energy heat energy is the invisible energy it is in visible energy invisible energy which causes the sensation of which causes the sensation of which causes the sensation of hotness 
hotness or coldness of the body hotness or coldness of the body you can see that it is a invisible energy it is invisible energy you can't see which causes the sensation means you can sense that it is hot or it is cold it is very hot it is very cold so it is a invisible energy which causes the sensation of hotness or coldness of the body which causes sensation you can sense that it is hot or it is cold and coldness of the body so this is the hotness or coldness of your body so it is defined as it is a invisible energy which causes the sensation of hot and cold in above discussion we used the sensation of touch to decide whether the body is hot or cold and how for our sensation of touch is very reliable following activity will prove the above statement activity 4.1 activity 4.1 activity 4.1 activity 4.1 first activity is the sensation of touch is not reliable to find the degree of hotness or coldness of the body sensation of touch sensation of touch is not reliable is not reliable to find the degree of hotness or coldness of the body the uh, sensation of touch sensation of touch is not reliable to find the degree of hotness or coldness of the body this is the activity and in this activity take three large plastic mugs and label them a b and c take the mug and label them a b and c and label them a b and c take three mugs and label them a b and c a b and c and pure ice cold water in mug a ice cold water in mug a ice cold water in mug a and in the tap water in the mug b tap water in the mug b and warm water in the mug c and warm water in the mug c then milk should make sure that water in the mug c is not very hot and your hand can bear it your hand can bear it so in first mug a ice cold water mug b tap water and mug c warm water not too much hot it's warm water you can bear it your hand can bear it then dip your left hand in the mug a 
left hand in the mug A and right hand in the mug C and wait for 2-3 minutes. Take out your hand from mug A and C and dip in the mug B at the same time. At the same time you have to in tap water first you will for 2 minutes you will put your uh, hands in this ice cold water and first in warm water and after that at the same time you will put your hand in the mug B tap water. What you will uh, find. Then what do you observe? You will find that the left mug left hand the tap water will appear warm and whereas to the right hand the water will appear cold thus the activity clearly proves that our sensation of touch is not reliable to find the degree of hotness or coldness of the body to reliable measure to find the degree of hotness or coldness of a body is to measure its temperature the device used to measure of temperature is called the thermometer so device is used to measure temperature is called the thermometer the device used to measure the temperature of the body measure the temperature of the body is called thermometer is called thermometer is called thermometer is called the thermometer measurement of temperature next is the measurement of temperature so till here you will take a revision properly in this chapter